Hey guys, so uh, first thing I want to start off by saying is that, um, yeah, Funny Bad Review for this week did not go up as expected yesterday. I have been having some trouble with getting the uh, edited video to save, so what I ended up having to do is I have to completely start from scratch again with the uh, video files, so I'm currently in the process of trying to re-edit it and see if it works if I try and save it again. And, um, hopefully, it, hopefully it works out. I don't know why it wasn't working before, but, yeah, I, I hope I can have it up by today. We'll see what happens, though. Um, but, real quick, um, I... Did not get a chance to review this before Baby Driver came out. I did review the Cornetto trilogy, but I didn't review this one because I just... I didn't think I was actually interested in watching this movie. And I ended up watching it. Like, three times. And... yeah. Let's get into Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, guys. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World tells the story of Scott Pilgrim. He's this 23-year-old guy, he's in a band called Sex bob and he's dating a 17-year-old girl named Knives. And then he meets this girl named Ramona, and he falls in love with her, and so in order to date her, he has to battle her seven evil exes. I'm gonna start off with the cast real quick. Um, Michael Sarah plays Scott Pilgrim. And he is great as a very likable and yet unlikable hero because he's likable because he's so just charming and charismatic and funny. But at the same time, for a good chunk of the movie, he is um, cheating on knives with Ramona and like just trying to avoid breaking up with her and that kind of thing. So he's very unlikable in that regard. He's very selfish and douchey towards most people. And um, what I do like about his character in this movie is that he does um, grow as a character and realize how wrong he's been. But apparently in the comic book, it's a lot more um, well-developed and earned, so I, I'm definitely gonna read the graphic novel series. I'm, yeah, <laughs> it's, it seems incredible. And then you have, uh, Mary Elizabeth Winstead as, uh, Ramona, and I think she's a great love interest for Scott. I didn't think her character was all that special, but I, I, I thought she was fine in the movie. The actress did a good job, so... Uh, I thought the supporting cast was a lot of fun. The other members of Sex bob Steven, Kim, um, Young Neil, they're all pretty good. Um, you know, Knives, she's good. The other supporting characters, like, uh, Julie, Steven's ex-girlfriend, uh, Scott's sister, they're all really good. Um, there's a lot of big or actors who are big now in smaller parts in this movie, and I really like that. Uh, I think the seven evil exes, they all have something memorable about them, and each fight scene is uh, something, something fresh and different compared to the others before and after it. I'd have to say that uh, Lucas, Todd, and Gideon are my favorite of the evil exes, though. Um, but... Matthew Patel, the first Evil X, has my favorite fight scene in the movie because he, like, busts out into this, like, Bollywood song and dance number while he's trying to kill Scott with fireballs and hipster demon chicks, so... You know, that's my favorite fight scene in the movie, but, um, yeah, I... I think Lucas, uh, Todd, and Gideon are my favorite Evil Xs. Just... Just because you have, um... Lucas's introduction is amazing. He 
comes out of his trailer and the universal music starts playing and he he like cracks his neck to the um like the bass drum hit part that goes bum bum and he like cracks his neck and so yeah that is my favorite character introduction in the movie then todd is just like my favorite um weird joke in the movie because he's vegan so his veganism gives him like mind powers and his eyes like glow white and his hair like sticks up and yeah and then he gets his powers taken away by the vegan police and then of course i mean how can you not love gideon he's like the best He's the best one, honestly. <laughs> he has the funniest moments, he's the most memorable, and he's in the movie the longest, I think. But, um, I think that one of the standouts in this movie are uh, Kieran Culkin as Wallace, who is Scott's gay roommate. He has some of the funniest and most clever moments in the whole movie, and I just really enjoyed his character. Uh, and that's just what this movie is. This movie is just really fun and really clever. The visuals are amazing. The music is really good. You have, like, three different, um, bands in the movie, like, because, like, the whole thing behind it is that Scott is in a band, and they're doing this Battle of the Bands thing while Scott is also dealing with um, the whole thing with Ramona and her evil exes. So we get a few scenes of this Battle of the Bands, um, and the music is just amazing. Uh, I forget the name of the one band, but there's, there's a, a band that starts, they play the song called I'm So Sad, So Very, Very Sad, and it's like four seconds long. And... <laughs> I love it. And then the second song they sing is called, like, We Hate You, Please Die, or something. So, it's... It's funny. <laughs> um, but there's actually a couple of really memorable songs in this movie that were made, like, just for the movie. Uh, there's a lot of video game and pop culture references. A lot of the fight scenes in this movie are, like, pure video game stuff. I just can't believe it took me so long to watch this movie. Um, this movie is uh, basically style over substance, like, almost 100%. But it still has good stub substance. Like, yeah, that definitely goes for the style over the substance, but there is still substance there, and it's good substance. Uh, the characters, the actors are all amazing. Um... You know, it's... I would actually ha go out as far as to say that it is my second favorite Edgar Wright film. Uh, right behind Baby Driver. Baby Driver is still my favorite, and I don't think it'll ever be topped. Or it will take a long time and quite a few movies to top. But I will say this, and this might be a little too early to call this, but I've already watched the movie like four times in the past few days, and I gotta say, I'm calling it right now, after 10 years, Terminator 2 is finally being dethroned. Scott Pilgrim vs. The World is my new favorite film of all time. It has finally dethroned Terminator 2. And Scott Pilgrim vs. The World definitely gets an A+. I really just love this movie so much. There is nothing about it that I really dislike at all. Like, I couldn't think of any negatives when I was writing the notes for this review. I was like, what are some negatives? I couldn't think of any. So, yeah. Um, let me know in the comments what you guys think of Scott Pilgrim vs. The World if you've seen it, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.